Hello, my name is Kevin, and you're watching Learning Old Germanic Languages. The channel has hit 5,000 subscribers. I would like to thank all of you, those who have subscribed, who've been with me from the start of this channel, found me, ha found me halfway now, uh, excuse me, found me halfway, so to speak, or just found this video. And even those who've come by and they're no longer subscribed, and even those who are not subscribed at all, but they just came by just to watch a few videos, I thank everyone. Patrons, non-patrons, this channel would not be where it is now if it wasn't for you guys. I know a lot of YouTubers, a lot of content creators, they say the same thing, but it's really true. It's really true. Um, the channel wouldn't re reach this uh, feat, if you will, if it wasn't for your guys' uh, support, comments, and all these little things that help with the algorithm with these videos. And especially in regards to, to historical languages, that of Germanic nature, it's not easy. It's really, really not easy. It's just, it's one thing to know about this stuff, but it's another to talk about, like, how you present it. That's another thing, too. Because for a lot of people, this stuff seems very dry and extremely academic and not really that interesting. Um, it's really how you present it. And the thing is, I understand, uh... Well, I have, I, I have a pretty good understanding of, of YouTube and what, why people go into YouTube. You know, people go into YouTube to, uh, to, to, to mainly to get entertained, to kill time, so to speak. Or there are others who use YouTube as a means of obtaining knowledge, obtaining information to learn something. Right? So, and... The thing is, with this channel, um, I hope it has some benefit to all of you in some shape or form, whether that's, you know, learning another language or just experiencing a historical time period or what have you, because there are different people who come to this channel for different reasons, right? Some of you are, are purely into to the linguistic stuff. Some of you are pursuing linguistics in, in academia. Some of you just see this as just for fun, you know, and uh, th and those uh, are into this or in also the history or what have you, you know. There are a myriad of uh, uh, variegated people out there that that want to know this stuff, and I thank all of you for that because this channel, this channel has a grand importance. I'm not saying that because you know I want to come off as like. To make this channel greater than it actually is, if, but if you think about it in the in the grander scheme of things, if I may say so, this channel has has an importance like like other historical channels. But like to go deeper, it's one thing. The thing is, there are many uh, history channels out there that talk about the events of history. Well, not don't get me wrong, that that's important. But there are fewer out there that actually go into how people spoke in the past you know um you know and the thing is too i hope this channel has inspired you to to pursue learning historical languages uh for whatever reason and and um but there's more to it than just language learning i mean it's it's because it's a language I, again you know this is going back to my point about um that uh, people go to YouTube for different reasons and, 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 and that, and how you present this stuff too. Because the thing is, I, I know that most people want go on YouTube to get entertained. So, and the fact that I'm dealing with languages, there's an air of creativity as well. Because it would be even boring for me to, to be only purely academic purely linguistic purely you know what have you i mean that that has its own value don't get me wrong um 
but not everyone is academically inclined, right? And I understand that, and that's fine. You know, not everyone is, is has the mind for that, and that's fine. No, no, no two people are the same, all right? Um, so uh, what I'm really getting at is I, I like the fact that I, I can uh, play with these languages in that um, I could, uh, you know, create a historical, not historical, I can create, um, well, there you are, non-historical content, like as in content that's not from the period, but using the language of the period to create something like for today. Like I can express my own thoughts in, in these uh, other languages, uh, Gothic, Old High German, in, in, in an I, Old High German dialect, if you will, um, Old Saxon, Old Frisian, or what have you, you, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And, and make the language more interesting, you know, um, because if you're only, because a lot of people tend to think of these languages as only relegated to the past and, and that's their only function is to, you know, but the thing is with the, with these historical languages, how creating content in them actually has its own value that it, when, when content created in these languages today it makes the past seem less forward foreign right um this well this is relative to the to to this is yeah relative to the language in question right i mean the thing is in some ways modern german uh you know it hasn't really changed that much from uh, uh you know old high old high german dialects don't get me wrong. There's a lot of, that has changed, but like, there's but there there are some things that haven't changed as well, um, and as well, uh, yeah. So to make so content made in these languages make the languages seem make 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 the past seem less foreign. This is more true for for present English and old English because the two are so very different from each other. Um, but for other languages, well, that's another thing too. Uh, that reminds me that, um, when you look at languages of the past of the same, of the same family, you begin to realize they're very similar to each other. And it, go, and it goes to show that other languages, um, are, uh, are you know, of, you know, of, of, lang of other lang older languages of languages today tend to, be, well, I mean, are similar. And that, you know, people can understand that, okay, well, you know, these people of that language, they're not that much different from my, my people or what have you or my language or this or that, you know. So that, that that's cool of itself, you know, to show that there is similarities, you know, despite, you know, the present day languages that are, uh, that make, make it seem that, you know, they're different. I mean, again, this is more true for... Um, uh, old uh, English and old English and or what have you. Whereas the other languages, the other Germanic languages, the um, they tend to be more similar. They tend to be a bit more conservative. Whereas uh, in, in comparison to old English, I know this is not a Lernida video. This is not Lernida Alt English, English. Uh, um, for those of you who are not familiar, um, this channel is actually my second channel. My first channel is Ler and De Alt Englisk, which can be found in the in the channels section of my of this channel. But the thing is with these videos, these milestone videos, they're really meant to be long, and they're meant uh, to be an opportunity for you guys to kind of see my character, you know, um, that you can see the the face behind the screen, uh, so to speak, you know. Um, the thing is with this channel, the intentions behind it was, well, one, to get a, a mental break from Old English. That's that's one. Two, um, well, I mean, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm making an, an order here. Uh, it's really just random order. I mean, it's not like one's better than the other or what have you. But like the second reason is really to inspire other people of different cultures or what have you to look into their own historical language right um you know 
it, it, it's that that's the other intention of the town to for people to build a healthy sense of ancestral pride I'll repeat myself to cultivate a healthy sense of ancestral pride all right it's okay to be proud of your ancestors yeah sure none of some of them have, have not been great people or what have you but a lot of them have been great people of their achievements and you descend from them however that's not a however that that does not negate the fact that you yourself um uh should do uh, uh, historical not historical uh, well yeah kind of historic actions or or to do uh feats of greatness you know this reminds me of a quote whatever action a great man performs common men follow in his footsteps and whatever standards he sets by exemplary acts all the world pursues so with your action with your pursuit with your great action you can inspire others right you can inspire others you know just believe in yourself you can do it yeah it's hard but you know anything worthwhile in this in life is hard this channel is really really hard you know you the thing is with, with historical languages you you have to have the mind for it you know um it's one thing to learn this stuff but it's another to become good with it and to be able to compose uh your own content in it despite uh you know, attested sources and whatnot, uh, what have you. But when you understand how these languages work, uh, then then you know, un reading and understanding them or what have you, you know, it gets it gets easier over time. You know, it's uh, because these languages, the study of these languages is important. It is important for uh, manifold reasons. I mean, it's. Uh, you know this this kind of history needs to be preserved i mean i mean it, 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 if the thing is if we have to preserve what we have in order to understand the past because if you don't know the past you don't you won't know where you are now right and you know um i'm not saying to live in the past or what have you but at, at least use the past as, as a guiding tool you know, for, you know, for your, uh, you know, life now and, and, uh, and for the future. Uh, well, and well, using that, which is good from the past, right? You know, we got to use our heads here. We got to, you know, you know, we have to uh, think, um, speak and act with reason, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's. This channel has great importance of itself. I mean, it, it, it's just in the grander scheme of things. I mean, I, I should be more active on it. I mean, the re and I'm going to be very honest with all of you. Why I haven't been really that much active on this channel. The thing is, believe it or not, this channel is not monetized. You know, it's uh, it was monetized uh, in the early days of it. But then YouTube uh decided to um change its um requirements its uh, prerequisites if you will to like to to get monetized and of course the channel did, did failed to get to have them but i'm working my way with this channel um to to um get it monetized and and uh, for those who are my patrons thank you for being a patron and whatnot it really means a lot it really means a lot um and you know and and for those of you who are from Larnida Al the Anglisk, you know, th thank you so much for hopping onto this channel. Um, yeah, and you know because this channel of itself, I I, I I can't stress enough how important it is, and it it to. I'm so glad for YouTube being to, for to be a platform where I can uh share this stuff with, with, with all of you you know because you know ha had i been born in a different time and i would be very much by myself about this you know or have you um 
because not it's it's not likely that you know it's not like you know getting into historical languages is not a very common thing it's a very niche thing but um yeah you know um yeah the thing is with this channel i mean it's you know to learn historical languages and you know and have fun with them you know to celebrate the past right to celebrate the past you know we you know i mean if you think about it if you think about it going back to another point about ancestors i mean by supporting this channel in some roundabout way you're supporting your ancestors you know because i am a firm believer that this stuff should be preserved you know and i've had this channel for about how uh, Oh my god, I've had this channel for maybe eight or nine years. Yeah, I've had this channel for a very, very long time. I made it, uh, I think, yeah, my, my, oh, yeah, Learned is, uh, Learned is, uh, what, nine years old? And so this must be eight years old or what have you. I, I mean, if I'm wrong by one year, then that, 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 that's on me. But anyway, so this channel has been around for almost a decade. And it's not going to go away anytime soon. Um,. You know, you know, I really appreciate those that have been patient with me in this channel or what have you because, oh man, you know, it, 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 it feels really nice to, to be in this position where I'm, where I can ex express myself and sh share my interests, well, particularly with the historical languages. You know, but at the same time, you know, I am a YouTuber. I am a content creator. I, I'm, I'm, you know, have to put a healthy distance. You know, because thing is, for those of you who are maybe interested in making YouTube videos, it's oh, it's 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 good practice to build. Yeah, of course, to have a good relationship with your audience, but at the same time, you want to keep a healthy distance, um, because if you don't, if you don't have boundaries. That's where you get problems, you know, that's where you get problems. And so why am I saying this out loud? Well, cause I'm feeling quite comfortable, right? These videos by their very nature are meant to be long. So, so we can get the hangout in some weird one sided way. <laughs> yeah. If you made it this far, I applaud you. I, I, I applaud you. You know, I cannot thank you enough for sticking around. You know, 5,000 subscribers. Oh, uh, man. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, man, I'm going to say this. You know, it's one of my dreams, actually. And this is just a, a dreamful thought, a dreamful. <laughs> Even these languages affect how I speak English. So, yeah, it, yeah, English is my first language, by the way. So, um, <laughs> <duh>. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, my dream. Yeah, um, you know, to do this, be, to do this full time would be like. Yeah, but I'm not in a position in my life right now where that really can happen. Um, but one day. One day. You know. I just got to keep doing what I'm doing. You know, because... You know, because this stuff needs to be preserved. And the thing is, too, um, it's one thing to know these languages, but then... Okay, because the way I see it is that language is a tool, right? A tool can be used in the mode of goodness where you can inspire positive change in the world, you know? Or you can up uplift someone's spirit, so to speak. You know, that's the kind of content I like to do with these languages, you know? Yeah, they may not be from the period, but like at least... You know, it's what I'm saying in the language, you know, that that's positive, that's uplifting, 
you know, it's conducive to self-improvement or what have you, right? As a tool, it can also be used for neutral things, you know, um, um, where, or, or, yeah, just neutral things, you know, talk about the weather, you know, something inno innocuous, you know, or as a tool, one can use that tool for negative things, to bring down someone, to, I don't know, this, this, you know, something not uplifting, dark, or to have you, this or that, you know, so a tool can be used in these three ways. I mean, you got the positive, via positiva, and then you got the neutral, and you got the via negativa, you know, bad things. You know, the mode of goodness is what I strive for for this channel. You know, because thing is, I understand that there are a lot of people out there that are suffering. You know, um, that the people who think, oh, the world's a bad place. You know. You know, life is only life is only good as you make it. You know. You are a master of your own destiny. Right. You know, you can turn things around. You can turn things around. It doesn't have to be this way. Right. Yeah. So. You know, you know, I hope I make your time worthwhile, you know, worth the while that, that you've been watching this video and, and this celebration video. Yeah, because I think it's fair to you guys to reveal more of my character and how I actually think, you know. Um, you know, it's important to preserve history, to honor your ancestors, you know, it's, it's, you know, there's nothing wrong of being proud of, of being the culture that you're from. All right. There's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. OK. All right. Do not fear. Do not fear. OK. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going <laughs> to. I think I think I'm gonna head off now. It's uh oh my god, I've been at it for like twenty two oh twenty three minutes almost. Oh dear. Okay, so thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Again, thank thank all thank you all for five thousand subs. It really means a lot. Excuse me. I think I'll uh, head off now. Alright. Take care.